Whom do men say that I the Son of Man am? Some say thou art John the Baptist. Some Elias. And others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But whom say ye that I am? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. They were killed. Peter, James, Stephen. John was exiled. There was an apostasy from the truth, a falling away, just as Paul had prophesied. And when all the apostles died, the church lost its original organization, and the keys of the kingdom of God on earth. So where do we search for the truth now, Robert? I don't know. But the scriptures are clear. There must be prophets and apostles. Consider Amos. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Yes, yes, but preacher says that with our greater faith today, such men with their miracles, well, they're just not needed anymore. They were for the dark ages of the world. Then I say, give me the dark ages of the world. Give me those times when men were guided by the prophets and apostles who received revelation from the Almighty. I believe the Lord God will soon raise up a people and a church with prophets, apostles, and all the gifts, powers, and blessings which it ever contained in any age of the world. It is for that church that we must seek, one with the same organization as in Jesus Christ's day. And what if such a church doesn't exist? Uh, then we must pray the Lord will show us the way, Asmon. Well, rain seems to be letting up. I, I must be going. Thank you for dinner. It was lovely. We must continue our conversation later, in fact. Goodbye, Wilfred. Goodbye. Robert Mason. He's a good friend, but he has strange ideas. Who will believe such things? I believe him. indicate that God created man in his own image. God has no body like you and I. How else could he be everywhere and nowhere at the same time? Moses said he talked with God face to face. But you teach that God is a spirit. God is a spirit. These things in the Bible must be understood spiritually, not literally. Jesus taught, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Surely he meant this literally. Why do you not preach the doctrine of baptism as Jesus Christ did? Young man, we live today in a glorious blaze of gospel light. Such doctrine is unnecessary. Excuse me. And what else is unnecessary? unnecessary. Though the Lord himself was baptized. Everyone seems to have their own system of spiritualizing the scriptures to make them bend to their own views. Where is the truth? Why is there so much confusion? The Spirit of the Lord impels me to relate something to you. A vision I had many years ago. One day, I was working in my field when I was carried away by a vision. I found myself in a vast orchard of, of fruit trees. I became hungry and searched for some fruit to eat but I found none. While I stood in amazement, finding no fruit in the midst of so many trees, 
they began to fall as if torn up by a whirlwind. I gazed upon it with delight, but as I was about to eat it, the vision closed. I didn't taste of the fruit. I never tasted of it. I, I knelt down to inquire of the Lord as to its meaning. In answer, I heard the voice of the Lord. What did the Lord say to you? The Lord said unto me, the great trees of the forest represent the generation of men in which you live. There is no church of Christ upon the earth in your generation, but in the next generation, I, the Lord, will set up my kingdom and my church upon the earth, and the fruits of the kingdom shall again be found in all their fullness upon the earth. You will live to see the day and handle the fruit, but you will never partake of it in the flesh. Now listen to me, Wilford, for the Spirit of the Lord bids me say this to you. I shall never partake of this fruit in the flesh, but you will. So seek for it, Wilford. <laughs> 